Hey everyone, welcome back to Python Code Nemesis. In today's video, we will be looking at how to build a web application with Starlet and Uvicorn. A beginner's tutorial. In this tutorial, we will explore how to build a simple web application using Starlet a lightweight asynchronous web framework and Uvicoin, a lightning fast ASGI server. Starlet and Uvicoin work together seamlessly, allowing you to develop high performance web applications with ease. Let's get started. Starlet is a light, fast and asynchronous web framework for building high performance Python applications. It is designed to be simple and efficient providing the necessary tools to build scalable and robust services. Starlet is built on top of the asynchronous framework called AsyncIO, which allows for handling multiple concurrent connections efficiently. What are Starlet's advantages over Flask? Starlet and Flask are both popular web frameworks in the Python ecosystem, but they have different design philosophies and features. Here are some advantages of Starlet over Flask. Asynchronous support. Starlet is built from the ground up with asynchronous programming in mind. It leverages the AsyncIO framework and provides native support for handling asynchronous operations, making it well suited for high concurrency scenarios. Flask, on the other hand, is primarily synchronous and requires additional libraries or techniques to handle asynchronous tasks. Performance. Due to its asynchronous nature and lightweight design, Starlet can handle a large number of concurrent connections effectively. This means it is suitable for building high performance applications that require scalability and responsiveness. Flask, while still performant, may not scale as well in scenarios with high concurrency. WebSocket support. Starlet includes built-in support for handling WebSocket connections, allowing bidirectional communication between clients and the server. Flask, on the other hand, requires additional libraries or extensions to enable WebSocket functionality. Modern Python Syntax Starlet is built using modern Python syntax and takes advantage of new language features introduced in recent versions of Python. This can make the code base cleaner, more concise, and easier to maintain. Flask, being an older framework, may have a slightly more traditional syntax. Middleware support. Starlet provides a flexible and powerful middleware system, allowing you to globally modify requests and responses. This can be useful for tasks such as authentication, request, response logging, or handling cross-cutting concerns. Flask also supports middleware, but Starlet's middleware system is more advanced and provides better flexibility. Extensibility and ecosystem. Flask has been around for a longer time and has a large ecosystem of extensions and libraries built around it. However, Starlet is gaining popularity and has an increasing number of extensions and integrations available. While this Flask ecosystem is more mature, Starlet offers a modern and growing ecosystem. That was about Starlet. Now let's move on to Uvicoin. Uvicoin is an ASGI, asynchronous server gateway interface that is commonly used to run web applications written in Python. ASGI is a standard interface between web servers and Python web applications or frameworks allowing for asynchronous communication and handling of HTTP requests. Uvicorn is designed to be fast and lightweight, and it leverages the power of Python's AsyncIO library for efficient asynchronous processing. It is commonly used with frameworks like FastAPI and Starlet, which are known for their high performance and asynchronous capabilities. By using Uvicorn, developers can deploy their Python web applications with ease, taking advantage of its support from HTTP 1.1 and HTTP 2 protocols, WebSocket handling and automatic reloading during development. Uvicorn is known for its scalability and ability to high, handle high concurrency workloads. To start a Python web application using Uvicorn, you typically need to specify the module and callable within that module that represents your application. 
For example, if your application is defined in a file called main.py and the caller bill is called app, you can start the application with the following command. You will call main colon app. This command starts the Uvicon server and binds it to the default host, localhost and port 8000. We can also specify custom host and port options as needed. Overall, Uvicon is a popular choice for running high-performance Python web applications thanks to its support for asynchronous programming and its ability to handle concurrent requests efficiently. Prerequisites. So before we begin, we have to make sure that you have Python 3.7 or higher installed on your system. It's also recommended to set up a virtual environment to keep your project dependencies isolated. You can create a virtual environment with this command python3 or python hyphen m venv and then the name. So python3 or python hyphen m venv. Let's say test starlet and ubicorn. Then activate that virtual environment. For Windows, it would be the name of the environment, backslash scripts, slash activate dot bat. For Mac OS, it would be source, name of the environment, front slash bin slash activate. Installing dependencies, we'll start by installing the necessary dependencies. Open the terminal and execute the following command once your virtual environment is activated. Pip install starlet ubicorn. Now that the dependencies are installed, create a new Python file called main.py and open it in VS Code, which is your favorite code editor. Or you could also use PyCharm. PyCharm is also really cool. So first import the necessary modules that is from starlet.applications import starlet, from starlet.responses import JSON response, and from starlet.routing import rule. Next, we'll define a simple root handler that will respond with a JSON response Add the following code to your main.py file, async hello world, async dev hello world request, resend json response, message and then the string hello world. Then there's this roots list where you define this, uh, create a new root with this new, the root um, class and inside it you have the endpoint which is just slash and the endpoint parameter which is the hello world function. And then the app is equal to starlet and then pass in the root. So this is the endpoint and like this is the URL and this is the endpoint. And the endpoint takes in the function which will return something. So in the code above, we define an asynchronous function hello world that takes the request object as a parameter. This function returns a JSON response with a simple hello world message. We can define a list of routes where each route is defined by the root class from starlet. In this case, we have a single route that maps the root URL to our hello world function. Finally, we create an instance of the starlet class and pass our routes list into its constructor. Now running the application, we'll use uvicord. Open a terminal, navigate to the directory containing your main.py file and execute it with uvicon main hyphen uh, clone app hyphen hyphen reload. The main app argument tells uvicon to look for an object in app in the main module which corresponds to a starlet application instance. The reload flag enables automatic reloading of the server whenever the resource code changes. After running the command, you should see output similar to the following. Info uvicon running on port 8000. So yeah, congratulations. At this point, you should see your web application is running. Now, if you want to test it, open a web browser and visit the localhost 8000 page. You should see a response with hello world message. I checked it out and I think you should check it out for yourself too. It was working, it was running. So now we are at the end of the video. We explored how to build a simple, very, very simple web application with Starlet and Uvicon. I would encourage you to add more routes and create like HTML templates, show them on e either of these routes and see how it's all working. You can add features, like you can try out more features like 
middleware, authentication, database integration. You can refer to the official documentation of Starlet and UVCon for more information. However, I like probably will make more videos on this on how to use Starlet and UVCon and some common issues that you might face and how to debug them. That's it for this article. Feel free to leave feedback in the comments. If you like this video, like, subscribe to my channel Python Code Nemesis, spread the word. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Happy coding!